Hi, I'm Lazeal, and thank you for coming back after a really, really long break. Um, I unfortunately fell into a very common mental trap. Um, I wasn't seeing the results of my labor, and therefore I just quit. It's kind of like starting a new workout routine. You go for a day, three days, a week maybe, and you just don't see the results. And so you just stop. You know, why am I doing this? And before we move on, my eyebrows are red because I just got them on. So that's if you're wondering. Anyway, so I got this comment that just really reignited the passion inside of me to teach and to show people art and to see that anybody can do it. Um, so I might mess up your name and I'm sorry. Um, it came from Navita and she commented on my stick figures into humans uh, drawing tutorial and she said, I cannot believe I just drew a person so perfectly just by following your instructions. Thank you so much for the video. I'm glad that I came across your channel. And that just blew me away. It gave me so much inspiration. And I absolutely love my students. Most of my students are my subscribers. They're my commenters. They like my stuff, um, but I feel like they're a little biased. So to get this from a complete stranger was absolutely amazing. Um, and like I said, it just spurred the inspiration to start again. So without further ado, I will get along with my video. So. One of my lessons is to the students is value, um, value um, and saturation and hue. So the kids get that mixed up a lot. And so I actually wanted to do a project based on that. I simplified it down, but I wanted to do something personal. And I started thinking about value and who sees value. Everybody sees value, whether you're colorblind or not you see value, but then what can be more pleasing to the eye than color? And I thought, how can I bring this together? So I disregarded the color and I just looked at value. Now, looking at a bunch of colors, looking at a bunch of colors like this, it's hard to see which ones are darker and which ones are lighter, okay? Um, it's also, if you don't understand hue or saturation, it's hard to tell what you're really looking at. So I'm gonna kind of first explain a little bit of that to you, and then I'm gonna show you the project that I'm, I am slash was working on. Hopefully I got a good cut in there without my dog coughing or my phone getting a text message. Hopefully I can scrap that together really well. We'll see. Um, again, this is Lazeal, and let's get creative is just any color, just a basic color. Then we go to saturation. It goes from bright, we're using purple as an example, to dull. This is usually adding gray. And then we go, we're still using purple, to value, which is adding black to get darker and adding white to get lighter. This is the difference between saturation and value. Using my black and white filter, I put this on my Sharpies and I arranged them from lightest to darkest according to the cat color. Now, I realized that they draw different than they look on the cat, so I put them down and I realized I had to make some adjustments. Um, making some adjustments, it turns out that this was my order and it was pretty exciting. I was pretty pumped when I got to this point. The next step was actually starting to shade the drawing itself. The following is a time lapse of the progress that I made on my image. After working on it for a bit, I wanted to double check so there will be pictures of the color and of it in black and white, just in progress shots, just kind of to compare what I'm talking about, what I'm trying to achieve.
so this is just where I stopped. I'm not complete with the image. I just uh, needed to take a break. Thank you guys again so much for watching and sticking with me through the long break. Uh, like if you enjoyed what you saw. Comment if you want to see something else. And subscribe if you can't wait to see more. Um, thank you again so much for watching. This is Lizille and have a wonderful week. Oh, I'm videotaping. <laughs>